my name is Braden Cole. And uh, welcome to my show. It's Static Game Review. And today we're talking, we're talking something special. But first, the letter of the day. The letter of the day is G. Because we're doing the Game Boy today. And I don't care what you think. And here we have the beginning of an era. This brought handheld gaming to America. The reason the iPhone is the way it is, the reason the Android phone is the way it is, the reason the cell phone is the way it is, the reason there's a PlayStation Vita, PSP, DS, 3DS, and handheld gaming period, you could think the Nintendo Game Boy. This is just one of those things that are timeless. Now, this is very, very old to today's standards, and it's, and it's actually, it hasn't aged very well. There's, there's plenty of ways you can play your old Game Boy games nowadays, whether it's an emulator, or a Game Boy player, or even a Super Game Boy. And there's just other things that can play these better than this can. And then, it's mainly because the screen, the build quality of this thing is awesome. It's the fact that it takes batteries and a lot of people are used to rechargeable things now. And, you know, the screen is just not up to par with today's, today's technology. While in my opinion, this is the way a gaming console should be and not hid behind fancy tricks and electronics. This was, this was something that I stared into when I was a kid for hours and hours and hours underneath a lamp. Didn't need no fancy LCD screen, 3D graphics, tricks, gimmicks. It was just the game and you. But it's not a pity party for me here at Static Game Review. It is a look at the Game Boy. And here's some of the software that you can play on your Game Boy. Like Super Mario Land. One of the things that put this thing on the map. And what you would do is you would take Super Mario Land and you would insert it into the back of the cartridge. Push it down. Turn it around. You would then f flip the switch on the top. It would come down and it would start up, and sometimes you have to blow in this to get it to work correctly. Let's try that one more time. Every little contrast adjust, adjust button. Let's see if I can make it look better. It's all you had back then. Contrast adjuster. Look at that, that's funny. Green and black games. And they play great on the Game Boy. They play how they're supposed to play. So you got yourself a start and select button, much like the ones on the Super Nintendo. Two very comfortable buttons that are actually very similar to the A and B button on the Super Nintendo. And then a directional pad that is very similar to the Super Nintendo's directional pad. And the NES's. And it's a very comfortable system to hold got your headphone jack on the bottom here and uh, just a just a great thing now let's take a look at a game that I put most of my time into as a child and that would be Pokemon Blue let's see how she holds up look at that getting a nostalgia boner right now excuse my language Look at that, gosh. You people don't understand how long me and my friends and just a lot of American kids just had their faces stuffed into this black and white video game. There is nothing fancy about this. It is just, it's just a game. There's no gimmicks. It's just an 8-bit game. 
It's not even in color. Because that's what that's the beautiful thing about this. You, to, you don't even have to really use your imagination as much as just enjoy the game for what it is. A Game Boy game. A portable video game. There's many accessories for this thing, like you had the little thing you would plug in right here, and you had your link cable ports, and then you had your, your if you were really, really cool, you had your little light thing that would brighten your screen for you, like if you were playing in the dark or trying to sneak, sneak away from your parents under your bed, you know, and then it's just really, really cool. There are so many accessories made for this thing. There's Game Sharks, and it's just a great, great, great unit. It's just, it's just part of my childhood, the Game Boy. It has so many different games, like Conquer, Pocket Tales. You got Mario Land 2, which is a sequel to Mario Land. Killer Instinct, Metroid, and just so many other good titles to be played on the Game Boy. And even to today, I still, I would admit, I don't play this very much anymore, as much as I did when I was younger, because I choose the Game Boy Advanced SP or the Game Boy Player, but when I'm really feeling old school, I get my ass under my lamp, turn my lights off, and I'll play myself some Pokemon Blue. Just because that's the way it was done back in the day. Bitches, that be the Game Boy. Yeah. Tune in um, next time. Same static time. Same static place. Oh, yeah.